Hello everyone, this is Wade from High Tech Legion here, and I'm going to be giving you a quick little overview on performance tuning the new Radeon HD 7790 from AMD. In this case, I'm using a Sapphire HD 7790 overclocked edition, so it is already factory overclocked to 1075 megahertz on the GPU core, and also a effective memory clock of 6400 megahertz. First thing I wanted to show you was that we have the Catalyst control panel, and under performance in the control panel, you have AMD Overdrive. And with AMD Overdrive, you have some definite uh, basic overclocking ability already. You can uh, change your GPU clock settings and your memory clock settings, as well as enable fan control mode and change the power control settings. But we're going to focus on the Sapphire Trix utility, and the manufacturer utilities tend to be slightly better than the built-in one. Um, on the first page here, we ha have all our information about our graphics card, including our temperature, current temperature here. We can save our BIOS. We can save a report of what's going on. And in the drop-down box, if you have more than one card, you can pick which one you want to work on with the drop-down box. Under overclocking, this is where the magic happens. You can adjust the clock speed by pressing the plus or minus button. You can also click and drag or also type into the boxes themselves. However, we'll find that it actually has the clock speeds locked at 1200 if you try to go past um, that for the GPU clock, it bounces right back. Same thing for the memory clock. The effective memory clock is locked at 6400. Uh, limit is 0%. You can't push it any further than that. You've got four profiles that you can save here. So if you wanted to switch between different profiles at different times, you've got that option. And under fan control, we have the current fan speed and the fan mode of automatic fixed where you set uh, the fan speed to say 50% it'll always run at 50% and custom where you can actually set a fan curve here just by clicking and dragging based on the temperature that the card is running at will be uh, what percentage the uh, fan speed runs at. Under settings you've got some very important things here to note. Number one, load on Windows startup is off by default when you install tricks. Uh, start minimized and restore clocks. All three of these are off by default. Uh, load Windows startup so tricks will run as soon as Windows boots up. And restore clocks basically whatever the last overclock you had it'll restore the uh, the settings on when tricks starts up. And I liked to start it minimized so I didn't see the program unless I really wanted to and I would open it up from the system tray. Under synchronized cards in multi GPU config if you have more than one card it will actually if you change the settings on one it'll change it on all of them. And under this, uh, this other one show effective memory clocks this is off by default as well but this gives you the uh, effective memory speed of 6400 where if we uncheck this and restart the application since it requires that you can see that it actually shows you the 1600 megahertz memory clock now. Now I've already been playing around a little bit with the speeds on this and found that the card actually runs stable at the max settings possible that AMD locked them at. So I've already set the memory clock speed to 1200 megahertz and the memory clock was already at 1600 from the factory. So one of the benchmarks I use to test stability is the new 3 Mark Firestrike um, benchmark and one thing to note is the extreme setting here for most cards 
unless it's a really high-end card, should be unchecked because it really heavily stresses the GPU even more than even some of the higher-end cards can handle. So we're going to run Fire Strike, and then I will show you the results afterwards. So here we have our results from our Fire Strike benchmark, and you can see that the scores are fairly fairly good with an overall of 3653 and graphic score of 4240. The physics score you can sort of uh, ignore a little bit when you're worried about overclocking your GPU because much of that is based on the CPU that's in the system. Here we have another benchmark that's great for stressing the GPU. This one is made by Unigen and it's the Valley 1.0 benchmark. This, the Unigen benchmarks are great for stressing it and will give you an idea of whether your overclock is stable. Oftentimes, if it's not, your system will lock up, crash while you're running one of these benchmarks because they really hit them pretty hard. So what we've done is we've set the settings here to be the same as when we did it with stock speeds. And then we just click Run. And it goes through a little loading process. Once it's loaded up, we can hit F9 and start the benchmark, and then I will show you the results of that at the end. There I have the results of the Valley benchmark. You can see that we've got 27 frames per second, which is a slight increase over the other stock speeds, which we got 26.4 on. The other thing to note here is that we've got an FPS counter here in Valley that tells you the card model that you're using and the clock speeds. Our temperature here obviously is erroneous because if it were that temperature I have a feeling the world would have melted down by now. Some things to note of course is that um, not all cards are equal. Sometimes you get one that can overclock a little bit better. Though in this case since we were able to max out the settings and still have a stable overclock that probably won't be the case. Granted, the Sapphire card does have a custom cooler on it, so other 7790s may not be able to hit those max settings and remain stable. So um, the other thing is sometimes having that higher clock speed doesn't actually result in more frame rates, so you need to play around with the GPU clock a little bit to make sure you find the sweet spot uh, for your card. I hope you enjoyed this quick performance overview for overclocking your 7790 and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook and Twitter accounts. Take care.